Hey, what's up everybody? Before we get into this video, I just want to mention one thing real quick. Um, code is a thing when you live off grid. There are some areas that don't have any restrictions, but most areas have restrictions when it comes to your septic because you don't want to have it to where people are just you know, dumping human waste on the top of the ground because when it rains, it could flow into your property. And then also too for power because if somebody wires their own system and they do it incorrectly, it could cause a fire. And if you're in a forested area like mine, it'll burn the whole forest down, including everybody's property with it. So that's something to think about, you know, and with these uh, all in one power stations that Blue Eddy puts out, a lot of times you can circumvent code and you don't need a permit for your power system because it's portable. So that's something to think about, you know, when you're when you're looking to go off grid. These systems are easy. They're plug and play. You know, I'm floored at the technology and how far they've come these days. So let's get into the video and I'll show you what we've got over my buddy's property. This here is my good buddy Chad. We met back in the late 1990s while working in the tech industry and have remained good friends to this day. Chad spent a number of years building out a really nice off-grid homestead in northern Arizona complete with a big old garden. It's got some rabbits, uh, also some chickens, both egg layers and meat birds, and then also some goats. Chad and his family have spent years converting various sheds into livable spaces, all of which house creature comforts, making their off-grid livelihood more enjoyable. All of these structures are powered via solar, but we get a problem. Chad's power system is starting to fail. Now with the old system still somewhat operational, we decided that we could part this project out into phases and convert each outbuilding over one at a time. So this is the bathhouse slash laundry room, which definitely gets a lot of use. It has a washing machine, a hot water heater, and then also a bidet. And when running all together, all these electrical devices pull around 2,500 watts of power. I received an email last month from Blue Eddy who had contacted me inquiring if I had any scenarios where we could showcase one of their renewable solar energy systems powering an entire off-grid homestead. With my property being a bit more basic, not having any large energy consumption devices, I shifted my focus to see if we could make a scenario work over at Chad's homestead. I explained Chad's power needs to my contact at Bloody, who suggested we use two AC500s and four B300S battery packs. Each of the two systems will be 120 volts with the ability to produce up to 5,000 watts of continuous power with a 10,000 watt power surge and a battery storage capacity of 6,144 watt hours. And that is expandable up to 18,432 watt hours because you can add six B300S battery packs to the AC500, which is absolutely amazing. The LifePo 4 batteries have 3,500 life cycles to 80%, can be recharged six different ways, and offer 16 versatile outlets for 99% of the devices out there. In addition to all this, Blue Eddy offers a four year warranty on these devices. The idea, I guess, is this replaces this entire thing. Yeah. All of this, this was, this was put together by the solar company. Right, these are individual components you can buy. They built it, put it together. It was like five or six grand, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and that replaces this. I mean, this replaces that, sorry. Yeah. Just this piece. And then all of that is replaced by this. And actually, this is 20% more than that in terms of storage. Well, and, and, and having two systems like this, you could run the house off this and then your other living mm -hmm. space off that. And then you have 5,000 watts in each pushing out. Right. And plenty of storage space. Right. Yeah, so much easier. It's just a plug and play system. It, yes, it, it, absolutely. And that's the difficulty of expanding with a system like this ah. is, is you can't really tell, but I've got like, these are my wires. Can you see them in back here? Mm -hmm. This is one building. This is the other building and they have to come in and bridge into the same hot negative, you, you know, and you know, all the wiring and stuff. I, mm -hmm. We could look at it later, but so if I want to add another building, I have to make sure there's another spot. I don't know if there is. I can't remember. I see. So what's nice about that is, is turn this into a plug that we plug into here, right? Mm -hmm. And then turn the house into a different plug that we plug in. Yeah. And then what's crazy about it is we still at 5,000 continuous watts won't max out what my house and bathhouse can do at the same time. Yeah. That's so it's like, about. it's like all of this is being replaced with that and then with that. Yeah. Grid power coming in. Mm -hmm. And then we have AC and DC both on, but there's no power going out to it. Yep. Right? So let's put that on. Let's see what DC. happens. 
it did start charging. Yeah, five watts. I wanted to explain what we're doing here. This is our electrician friend, Tim, and he came up with the idea to turn the wiring for the bathhouse and laundry room into a 20 amp plug. I picked up a few of these at the hardware store in town, and what this does is this gives Chad the ability to easily plug this living space into the AC500 to bring everything online. It's simple, easy, and effective, and the AC500 has no problem handling this power load. Let's see that one. All right, cool. You want to do them plug that in? Yep. Just get the extra cord out of the way. Just go right over here. Oops, Oops. sorry. You good? You got a big head. Yeah. All right, let's see what it hits, because I don't know what's on over there. Ah, there it goes, 400 watts. Yeah, so it's up to eight, uh, between 820 and 750. Okay. And now it's up to 953. Right, that's the bidet. Yeah, yeah, almost up to a thousand. So if this pushes five thousand, I'm gonna go turn the water heater on. It's gonna jump another thirteen hundred. Okay, sweet. Right. Yep. Uh, wow, I, I pulled a lot. Yeah, so we're up to twenty six hundred watts now. Well, it was twenty six hundred. Now it's down to two thousand. So it might have been a surge. Yeah, probably. That's usually yeah. nice, dude. So we're not. A, we're using about half of the output right now. Okay, and, and everything in the house is on. Nice. Up next is to wire the main residence here at the homestead. Inside, there's a large flat screen TV with the surround sound system. And then the kitchen area, there's a full-size full fridge and, uh, and freezer along with a, an oven and then a, and an air fryer, which actually that, that pulls quite a bit of power there, making either popcorn or whatever else. The oven itself, this pulls, I think he said anywhere from 500 to 700 watts. And then you've also got, you know, like your ceiling fan and then lights all throughout the, the place. So unfortunately, though, the rain hit pretty hard. And so we had to shut down because we didn't want to be outside wiring up electrical stuff in a storm. And so I took Meadow into town and I used this as an opportunity to get a few more supplies. So that way, when we get back to wiring up the house, we'll be good to go. All right, we got three more videos coming with this. There's a lot more stuff that I want to show you all. Personally, I want to let you know that I've been using Blue Eddy products since 2017 and I've never been disappointed with them. Whether I was out truck camping or winter camping and now living off grid, they've always delivered. The quality, strength, and stability of the Blue Eddy products that I use give me peace of mind knowing that I'll never run out of power. Whether you're looking for a system that's going to help bridge the gap if the grid goes down and you live in the city or if you're off grid like us out here and you want something to power your entire homestead, I've got a link in the video description below if you use my code off grid. AC500 you get $200 off your purchase and I cannot recommend these products enough I mean <laughs> I'm blown away and I can't wait to show you more of what these things are capable of doing all right thanks for watching